Hello. Hello, ladies. Um, I've already started on this clock. I think I showed it in one of my previous videos where it's a sort of an old sort of brass look. I think it's essentially sort of tin with a sort of coating on it where I have actually covered it in a a coating here. doesn't look too great, but um, as you know, I'll probably be painting this a colour. And I put some masking tape on, on the clock face here so that I wouldn't get uh, any of the filling of the paint. But as you can see, I've already started to put some um, decorative effects on here. Um, to just get that effect, what I've actually done is I cut little sort of panels out so that I know exactly where I'm going with this. Okay. And uh, you can either draw out a design, like the tree, okay, or... And that's actually what I did. I did a sort of uh, a quick cut out of the branches. Um, and I think some, some folk might find it easier to draw. Um, and just put the branches sort of in different directions. So in other words, you can sort of like do, a, I mean, you can use anything, a template from um, a magazine or um, anything like that. So you can see the way that sort of goes. That's the sort of effect that I got. So you've got the sort of template for the square, you cut it out, and then you stick it, stick it down. Okay. Um, and what I did here with the, it's almost like a plait design. Um, I'll show you quickly how I, I did that, just in case you'd like to try it for yourself. And uh, obviously you're trying to get things um, the same size. I'm just getting a piece of paper here. What I found I did is I measured it. I mean, this is just for, like, you know, just to show you how I did it. But you measure the, the paper. And I'm using, again, this lining paper that you normally use for walls. And I tend to make it sort of match for either side. I, I tended to sort of fold the paper four times um, so that I had sort of four sections. And what I actually did for that is I sort of a wave cut, as it were. And this is where I did this here, okay. follow that again through to the other end. You can do it as wavy or as, as not as wavy as you like but this is sort of another idea that you can actually use to, to sort of stick down. Okay and so when I got it cut out, I know this seems a bit fiddly, face them opposite ends and then I fitted them together like so, okay, and then you can actually see what I did there. You can glue it down flat, and you get this lovely plat um, design. Okay, all right. So <coughs> the plaited sides that I did there. Now you can see I've been doing the leaves um, and sticking them down. I couldn't take out the the handle of this clock because I might have to think about how to sort that one out again because everything that I do is often an experiment and I like to keep my wet wipe by when I'm sticking down all of this it's um luckily this handle moves so you get the effect of trees leaves um I mean, this is one thing you can sort of cut out any really any shape that you like, and um, I just happen to like leaves and flowers and done other things. Um, and there are other ways of actually doing this. Just make sure you've got like a little gap in between. Um, I'll show you an example. I've got a box here that I made ages ago by again using the lining paper which I'd painted previously uh, with paint effects um, on the lining paper and cut out 
so it sort of has an effect of like inlaid wood and I use this obviously to keep my um, some of my tools in as it were, I've got some pens that's, that's another way and I think this is an old um, gravy granules tin that I use and so I use sort of like little cop cop piece copper work here and I used oranges and, uh, and reds and uh, I rather like that. You can actually do pictures like this, make pictures. Okay. So, when I finished sticking these the leaves on this uh, particular clock, I mean, if there's any questions that you'd like to ask me, please email me because I've got this uh, competition going to, you know, it ends tomorrow evening, British summer time at six o'clock. Um, so if you sort of want to, to win the picture frame that I made there, I'd just get along to that particular video and watch it. But I think you also see the clock there, this particular clock, when it was when I first started with it. So okay, well when I finish doing all of this, I shall then paint it probably black when I finish sticking down the designs, okay? And um, I shall probably use a colour that will match this. I don't quite know what I'm doing with this one at the moment. But um, there we go. That's what I'm doing at the moment. It may well change, but uh, I've got as far as this. And um, OK, um, do contact me um, if you have any questions. And uh, I will come back and, uh, and show you sort of how I, how I finish this off. So um, I'll be back again. So take care. Bye for now.